welcome to the first official vlog in the new house. <laughs> You'll see like little sneak peeks behind me. I, I know you guys are all going to hate this, but I don't think I'm going to do like an empty house tour just because I, just for like privacy reasons, I'm not going to do like a full tour. You will probably eventually see every single room, but I just don't want to like walk through the layout just for privacy reasons, but we're here. And this is our first day, like, we woke up in the new house. I have not unpacked one box, so we are about to unpack our first box together. And that feels like something to celebrate. And of course, the one that I grabbed is, like, the least important stuff, so... I also don't really know how much unpacking I want to do quite yet, just because there's a lot of cleaning that I would like to do before any of the unpacking happens. It is not clean. I think that whoever we bought this from, oh, you found a cup? Do you want more? I think that the guy that we bought this house from was living here like one day a week and by himself. And it's honestly pretty messy because there was not a woman here living to show how to properly, properly clean. So, and I don't have my cleaning supplies here yet. They're all still at the old house, but I do need to empty out some boxes so that I have um, boxes to bring some of the stuff that's left at the old house over here. So it's driving me nuts because there's really not much I can do. I definitely can't unpack in the kitchen because I want to clean first, um, but I can unpack and maybe sort out like the living room area slash playroom area. So maybe that's what we'll do. Bellamy just got up from his nap. He took a two hour nap in the new house. That's such a huge deal. And I'm really thankful because I don't have like blackout curtains or anything yet. So um, the fact that he napped for me is just like a huge, huge deal. <laughs> did our whole morning routine and then I just went and dropped off the keys to the new owners of our old house so it's officially not ours and um, I picked up a coffee and I've just been like slowly unloading some stuff and cleaning the kitchen honestly in my opinion is the part of the house that needs the most work um, yeah, and also I want to say it's going to take a really, it is going to take a very long time to get this house to feel like us, um, just because it took us three years at the last house. I hope that toy is not too distracting, but it took us three years at the last house to make it feel like home, so it's going to take a long time here. This house is very cool-toned and dark, and I am a warm-toned girly 
with bright light. Like I want, I want it to be bright. And this is just like more farmhouse vibes. So it's gonna take a while to make it be styled the way we want, but the layout, the location, there's so much that we were in love with about it. So um, anyways, just wanted to start off with a bang because I feel like I had a, more than a few messages saying that like the part of the house, the new house that like they were the most excited to see was the kitchen. I think thinking just because I loved my old kitchen so much that like this kitchen would be that. But that kitchen at our old house, we did completely by ourselves. And it took a long time to get there as well. So yeah, it's going to take a while, but I'm gonna start wiping out the rest of the upper cabinets and put some stuff away. Cause right now it's chaos. <laughs> there is boxes everywhere i just don't even feel like i have anywhere to set anything and i just i don't know i want it to at least feel livable for us and like be able to cook and stuff like that but the thing is i can't put anything away until i clean because it was a single man living here and it shows okay i don't think he had ever cleaned anything in this house because it's let me just say it is a it's a nasty but it's okay. We will make it feel clean and fresh and like our home. So I'm gonna do that. I think I have a friend coming over this morning to just hang out and bring her kid for a play date. And um, maybe we'll do some unpacking and cleaning then as well. But. <laughs> in the kitchen just because I feel like that's the part of the house that like I needed to be functional ASAP but pretty much nothing else is unpacked even slightly and I did some cleaning this morning our main living room it needs some serious love um, I like long term really want to get rid of the carpet in here and none of this like decor or anything is really even staying this is just what I set up <laughs> like as I was unpacking just to make it feel a little bit more homey. But as you can tell, it's a lot bigger than what we were used to before and I love that we have a fireplace, but the home itself needs a lot of work. There's like tons of holes to patch in the walls and like gaps to seal and things like that. And I wanna paint in here. I like this paint color, but all in all, the house is very dark. <laughs> um, Partially due to lack of light fixtures, like we're gonna install some light fixtures and that will help a lot, but also partially due to the paint colors and just the way that it's like styled and de decorated. So slowly, and I say slowly because it will be a lot slower this time because I have a toddler and it just, time is not the same as before, but slowly I would like to brighten up the space change out fixtures like the one thing I really 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 well two things I really want to splurge on I would love to replace the flooring there's carpet in all the bedrooms upstairs which I'm fine with I totally want to keep that I love having carpet up there that's actually very cozy but what I want to change is there's carpet in our are you coming to get me there's carpet in our dining room which just is not going to work with a toddler and then carpet in the playroom and the living room. And I, I don't mind keeping the carpet in the, in the playroom, but I really do 
want it gone in the living room and the dining room just because one I feel like carpet literally holds so much dust and stuff even if you clean it constantly and then with a toddler walking around you have no idea what's getting smeared into the carpet and we have a dog and I just don't want to constantly be trying to keep it clean and like worrying about you did it allergies oh thank you okay worrying about let me wipe your nose come here can I wipe your nose come here oh you're gonna wipe it I don't want to constantly be worrying about allergies and things like that and then like in the dining room it would just be covered in food and also this is like probably a dumb reason to get rid of carpet to a lot of people but the reason I don't want the carpet in the living room is because I want to be able to get a giant rug because I feel like rugs really bring in like the design of a space and you can add a ton of color and like texture and just like it to the overall vibe of the space with a rug and without if we do, if we have carpet a rug on top of carpet just it doesn't ever sit right and it also kind of looks goofy to me so I don't know we'll have to figure out as we go because obviously everything costs money so I don't know really what's in the budget what's not but flooring is definitely something that I'm considering being like a splurge <laughs> What are you doing? This is my camera. This is my camera. Um, camera. And then the other thing, the other thing I really want to splurge on is the kitchen because I love this house. Bean. Oh, you gotta be gentle with Bean. The other thing I really want to splurge on, and not like splurge, splurge, but just like it def definitely would cost some money, but I like new countertops, maybe new cabinets. The, the kitchen just needs some love. It needs some love, and I spend way too much time in my kitchen to have a kitchen that I like really don't feel is functional or like my, or that makes me happy, but that'll be a long time coming I might do some like temporary I may do some temporary things to make it you know work for now and unfortunately because we bought such an old house this house is very old and it has also been empty there's just a few things that need fixed like all the appliances essentially we need to buy new um, which just adds up so it's going to be a long process. I don't want everyone to like have the expectation that it'll be like what we did at the last house because I feel like um, ever since I announced that I was moving, a lot of people said that they were really excited to see like home projects and stuff, which we're excited to do them, but it's just not going to be as quickly or even as efficient as it was the last time around. We had way more time, probably even more like extra spending money just because we didn't have a kid and like all the things going on in our life right now um and so time is more limited and we try to like really prioritize time with Belle and time as a family and this stuff will have to come second but I did place an Amazon order for some stuff for the house I had to get like smoke detectors carbon monoxide alarms and things like that and I'm hoping to get our laundry up and running today so that I can wash some stuff because that definitely needs to happen um each day that I'm here, it starts to feel more and more like, okay, this is our house. Because, you know, when you move into a new place, it doesn't feel like yours for a while. And we've been here for almost a full week. We've been here since Monday, and it's Friday today. And I literally have not unpacked anything besides the kitchen. So, like, this all, I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Or this stuff, the garage... I'm not even going to show you. The garage is a nightmare. Um, the playroom's kind of unpacked, but we have a play date this morning, so I'm going to get off of here and maybe try to do a little unpacking before she gets here. Wow. Before she gets here, and um, thank you.
had the most chaotic, stressful morning. I'm literally out of breath. I got locked out of the house this morning. Austin was not home, I did not have my phone. Bellamy was alone inside. Long story short, I got in and it was horrible. Um, but my in-laws are gonna come and help today for a little bit because they're actually back in town. That is why moving has been, that's part of why moving has been so difficult is my mom has been sick with influenza and then Austin's mom has been out of town. So like we haven't really had any help with Bellamy, which if you hear him, he woke up with a cold this morning. Um, so I'm gonna try to like put some stuff at least in the rooms where they should go. That way when they come, they can either just like help me unpack or everything's like separated and they can just help me clean. That's what I mainly want help with is cleaning. And I wanna get everything cleaned up. That way maybe next week I can think about painting or anything like that. But anyways, I need like to zen after the morning that I had. It was chaotic. I also got a light fixture in the mail because the light fixture that is above our um, like kitchen area doesn't work. There's no, like, the light part doesn't work, but the ceiling fan does. So we're going to take that down because it's so dark in here without a light. And I'm going to try to unbox this so that I can show you guys what it looks like. Because I'm really excited and it was super affordable. And I'm hoping that it makes a huge difference in just, like, the overall feel. Because nobody likes living in a super dark house. I feel like it starts to feel kind of like a dungeon and right now that's kind of how it feels especially today because it's like a gloomy day I think it's supposed to rain all day today and um, so I just want to try to brighten up the space it's just crazy that we're actually here I'm starting to feel more normal about it but man my morning you guys Whew. So the living room looks a little bit more like a living room now. I was able to put some stuff away today. Is this what it looks like for now? Hello! We still want to paint and restyle this space and change out flooring and stuff, put a TV up, but it looks like home for now, so. not make you happy. I don't care if it's October, November. I don't care if it's the middle of May. This, if it doesn't bring you joy, I don't know. I don't know guys, that's all I'm saying. Also, we haven't been able to use this tree in a couple of years. Do you need to go potty? Are you going potty? I haven't been able to use this tree in a couple of years because it was too big for our last house. And um, so we just put it in storage and we used like a little Ikea tree. So when I got it out, I was very pleasantly surprised to remember that it's pre-lit. I'll probably add more light still just because how can you not? This is gonna spill. I'm very happy. I'm gonna take a break and try to figure out what I'm gonna feed um, my family for dinner tonight and then we'll maybe get around to putting out some other Christmas stuff or at least putting some stuff on the tree. But I bought these two uh, be nice these two giant, I bought these two giant spools 
of lights, it's 450 lights for $15. So I felt like that was like an insane deal. And it's honestly probably way more than what I'm going to need. But um, I'm going to put like more lights on here. And then I'll probably put a tree up in our room because we have technically an extra tree now. Um, Austin just switched out the fridge. This is the fridge that was in the garage at our old house. Um, still feels weird calling it our old house, but that is the fridge that was in our old garage. Um, and we took it with us because the fridge that was left here was not in good shape at all. And it honestly was very old. Our inspector even said like he'd recommend replacing all appliances. So I'm currently going without a dishwasher because the one here doesn't work. And um, we'll have to work on We'll have to work on getting things replaced slowly. I'm thinking about going to like a scratch and dent store and just getting appliances that way. That way we save money because I don't need it to be like beautiful and in pristine condition. I just need it to work. It is so fun to be moving right in the peak of holiday season and just have like a reason to put our tree up right away and it makes the house feel more like home and just cozy. So anyways. My parents did stop by tonight. Are you are you okay? My parents stopped by tonight and my mom and dad brought me a housewarming gift. I, this is my first ever, I think this is a Dutch oven and it's cast iron and it's so nice and it's so beautiful. I'm so excited and it also come, came with a handy cast iron skillet which I needed a new one anyways and this one's nice and like deep I can bake in this I'm so excited she got this for me for sourdough yeah I'm excited to get back to like baking bread ah so many so many things to be thankful for so many blessings but let's make some food for the kid for my kid <laughs> and get him fed it's daylight savings day today so it's pitch dark outside right now has been for over an hour and it's literally only 6 24. seasonal depression where are you after all the moving and craziness i finally got a chance to wash our bedding sorry it is so dark in here i finally had a chance after all the moving and stuff to wash our bedding and it's gonna feel so great to sleep on clean sheets tonight but i need to um switch them out, so that's what I'm about to do. And um, this is always a, a chore. Next day, I need to find a place to set this. I feel like this is a weird spot, but I just had a hair appointment this morning and I went a little bit darker. I have like some of the blonde. It's been a crazy morning slash afternoon, but I'm home now and I'm planning to do like some unpacking and cleaning and stuff, just hanging out with big boy, have a family night tonight, and hopefully we'll put up like the rest of our Christmas decor because all I did was put up the tree, like literally the tree. I didn't put any decorations on it or anything. So hopefully we'll get around to that today. I need to order some groceries. Um, so yeah, let's unpack together. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to start in our bedroom by putting clothes away because it's currently quite the disaster. Okay, change plans. I'm going to put bathroom stuff away. And I have this contact paper drawer liner that I'm going put down I think. Well I don't know. It's not that bad. These ones aren't as dirty. I might save this for the kitchen drawers. I'm gonna line these um, vanity drawers at least. But I'm gonna do that and get our bathroom stuff put away. Ellie's just hanging out next to me. Hello. Ooh. <laughs>
hardly vlogged yesterday or really honestly hardly accomplished anything because shortly after I like started filming we just had like the whiniest fussiest day with Belle and he just like I couldn't do anything I could barely cook dinner without him kind of having a meltdown I think the time change the move just all the big changes all at once and then he also had a head cold last week I think are catching up to him and him just getting upset but anyways it's the next morning and I am going to do our church is doing like a prayer challenge right now and they send a text every morning and it says like to pick a space where you feel comfortable and focus take three deep breaths say hello to the Holy Spirit um, tell God one thing you love about him and ask him um, your question or prayer plan for the day but then it also sends you a prayer prompt so today it says we will be using Jeremiah 29 12 through 13 as our prayer focus for the month in this first section of our plan we are asking God to draw near to our own heart day one Lord as we begin teach us to pray read Luke 11 1 we recommend you read this scripture and pray the scripture each day as part of your time so I'm going to do that really quick um, while breakfast is cooking and he is entertained watching Miss Rachel and playing with some toys. I think that's definitely something I need to do today is a toy rotation because right now all of his toys are just unpacked in the playroom and if that doesn't prove that toy rotations are better for some kids then I don't know what does because he seriously will not touch a single one of them. Mm -hmm. 